In part one, I answered the question, what is the right way to model the support of a trust? Huh? Because in most books, we see it as pin and roller. I explain why the modeling in our uh, books is like this. So, based on the question of one of our subscribers, he pointed out that the reactions in the members will be smaller when this will be modeled as hinge and hinge support. So, the reason for that is this. Now, the support may be compared to a container. So, this is only vertical support as if there is just a pipe directed to one vertical container. While this one has vertical and horizontal support, it may be compared to a container here and another container here. So stress is just like water, it will flow going to the containers, okay? Ima just imagine that there will be water that will be retained inside the truss elements which can be compared to pipes. So the more water it contains, the more stress it has, okay? Now, that is why the forces applied here will flow to the to the elements and then it will flow to the support so the more force that will be taken by the supports the lesser the forces in the elements of the truss you get it the answer to that is how are you going to construct it so you have to model it almost the same as the way you will construct it. So, dapat ang figure mo, ang modeling mo, ang support mo, kapag ka nag-analyze ka, kaparehas ng kapag ka ikoninstruct mo. Most of our trusses will not be supported by roller support. Uh, most especially in residential buildings, we don't provide expensive roller support on our truss okay instead we actually fix it to the support so that's why this would be a more reliable more realistic model of our support for truss however this time it's a different story if it is a bridge truss in trusses we really provide expensive roller supports no so, the reason for that is this. Now, our truss elements will be sitting on a pier or, or columns. And our columns will be, most likely, specifically this one, it will be a column sitting underwater. And most likely, since this is underwater, the soil is a what we so-called saturated soil. When the soil is saturated, since our shear strength, as you studied or you will study in your geotechnical engineering, the shear strength depends on cohesion plus friction. The friction is tangent of phi multiplied by the normal stress. Right? So, the lower or the higher the water content, most especially if it is saturated, that is the highest water content it could have. So, therefore, the lower the coefficient of friction tangent of phi. So, the lower is this, the lower will be this quantity. Our soil will depend on our cohesion alone, meaning our shear strength is lower if the soil is saturated. What is the importance of that? It is this. As I had told you, support is just like container. Okay? So, the bigger your container, the bigger the content or the bigger the stress that will flow there or that will go there. Right? Now, if you're going to make this hinge and hinge, number one, because this most likely is exposed to sun, so it is really susceptible or prone to expansion. 
if you're going to prevent expansion, then you will be causing what we so-called thermal stress. Because you are resisting the expansion of this. So, our elements will be compressed or will be subjected to a thermal stress. Okay? Now, another thing is this. If this is hinge, this is hinge, so more stress vertical and horizontal or more forces vertical and horizontal will go to your columns. Let us focus on the center column. So that stress will be transferred to the footing and then transferred to the soil. Right? So what will happen is because you pr there is a horizontal force, it will be transferred to the footing and it will be transferred to the soil. So the force that will be transferred to the soil will be vertical and horizontal instead of just vertical alone if this is hinge. Another thing is since this is horizontal and this is applied at the top, so there is a moment created on the footing that moment created on the footing will also create a stress in the footing due to moment so instead of just vertical it will have to resist horizontal and stress due to moment this and this will be transferred and will be resisted by the soil since we said that the soil has weak most likely has lower shear strength that would not be beneficial to the soil right so because of that we try to eliminate the stress due to movement and the, uh, the horizontal force here and that can be done by making the support as a roller so since we do it in actual as a roller in order for the soil to benefit from that then that is the right way to model it or and to analyze it on paper it will not always be this one it must be modeled the way it will be constructed in actual the model the mathematical model and the actual must be as similar or as close as possible for the result to become reliable. Do you follow? Kindly enroll in our online course. Refer your relatives, you refer your friends to the best online platform, online review for civil engineering. And also if you have relatives who are college, they need our mastery courses for college algebra, differential calculus, analytic geometry, trigonometry, spherical trigonometry, and geometry as preparation for their college. Without those preparation, your son, your relatives, your friends will find it difficult really to cope up in their first year in engineering. So we have those courses for them. If you have friends or relatives who are still in college and they are really finding it hard to cope up with their civil engineering subjects or mathematics subjects, refer them to us to enroll in our mastery courses. Or if it is you, then enroll in our mastery course. It will help you really a lot at a very, very friendly, very economical but reliable price okay so see you